Hey guys, Susanna here. Well, we are on the last block of the month for the year, December. We've made it. We've done all the blocks. Um, I am just thought I'd just show you what is in the kit. And then I'll start on um, what we are going to be doing. It's so cute. I thought I'd end the year with a bang. It's got quite a bit in the kit. Okay, so you've got the pattern. Um with the pattern for the um, the tree, which is on here, what you need to do, I haven't got it on there, is probably turn this upside down and you put it on and you draw it the other way. So make sure that you draw it the wrong way when you use the flies affix or the heat and bond when you trace around them. All these are the other way. So, okay, so you got that. Then we've got... Stuck on there like this. We've got all these threads, quite a lot, which is going to go in. We're actually going to be doing this, so that's why you got all these threads and bits and pieces. So yeah, quite a bit. Took me a bit a while to uh, do this kit. So you got all the threads. Then I've got. So your piece is fairly big. I once again had the the remnants but you cut it over the pattern put that over the pattern that's the easiest way and then you have I'd probably pop, use that bit on the top because I think it's really cute so you could cut it that way or if you want to cut it that way it's up to you whichever way you want to use that piece then you've got this piece and this is vintage fabric which I bought from a vintage market and it's quite a good size piece bigger than the piece I've got and then we got this is for the um, the tree and the bird the wing and the breast of the bird so got that there got this there Put that on there like that. And then all these bits of fluff. And these are really nice, beautiful bits of wool. And I just tried to match up with that greeny colour that, um, you know, what you what birds seem to pick up in the nest. So you've got quite an range of bits and pieces. Um, whether you use them or not is up to you. So I'm going to use this here for myself as a bit of a... A guide. I did this one. This is the first one that I did because I, I did this before I did the robin, and this is sort of like the robin, and I had him in the nest, and I'm like, mm, no. Nah. So I ended up doing the robin, and so, um, but this is a good guide for me to do it. And what I've done with this be a piece of one, as you can see, mine's smaller um, because I've done it the same size as all my other pieces. So what you do is you, you cut this piece. I think that's the wrong way around. There we go. Oh, we use that bit as a the bottom. There you go. Um, you cut this piece to size and then you put your pieces down and you put that this um, checkered pattern first, then you put down the breast and then that and then leave. See, I've left a the little bit of the flies affix on the bottom. So once I've got that down, I'll iron that down. So and then because that's on there, um, I'll iron that down after I finish, but I just thought I'd leave just that little bit um, so that it sits over and that way it, it sort of becomes a little bit more unified in that piece. So what we're going to do is it that way, it just oh, I seem to like that colour better that way. I think that side goes that way, but I think I like it better that way. So. It doesn't really matter by the time you put it down. So we're just going to grab our same similar matching colour. Um, and line up a thread with that. So I might just thread that up. I'm just wondering 
where do I put the stuff through it first and then I pin it down probably so we get all our bits and pieces and these are all the remnant bits so I've got get a big eyed needle I've actually got one of these things that I got from a craft show called the pep that purple bang by this lady in America you could probably put stuff through there and then drag that up and down and, and pull it through if you want to on some of the really big pieces but I've got doll needles that will probably work pretty well that one's pretty long it's good because of the length of it now we had something fairly thick on the bottom so I might just use that one so I'm gonna um, if I go through that and I'll use it through here so we're just gonna go up down up down up down and then pull and keep it in here and pull it all the way through I might even leave that because I want some of the thicker um, I may come back with another needle and, and put that through down that way so then we go okay that can go there and then up down up down up and then that's going to go through those two holes so we'll go through this one And I don't mind that it's a bit thicker there because as you can see it's a little bit loose so that works okay okay that come out of the hole all good we're here to have fun and just chill okay maybe a long needle but the eye is oh, not always so big okay go in there there and there okay now um, there's a fair bit of this I might might just go back again so we'll go through there up down up because I've got it on there I'm just going to use it and it is a fairly multicolored piece Move that up. Oop. Again, so you've got the um, here's the black, so that works out really well because it's um, a thinner piece. So, what I'm going to do is I might go through there, up, and then through there. this will work give it a whirl just a bigger thread okay there we go oh, that's it bigger hole too bad too bad so we just have to get a smaller piece through here we go now okay, up, down, up, down, 
This is the part where, while it's still got something attached to it, when you go over, we just adjust and fiddle with it a little bit. I could probably, I'm going to skip one, this part along here, I might go with another thread, but this is fairly big, so I might go back in here with a fairly big, thick piece which this last piece of that is there we go now pull that out there we go and I don't mind it being a bit fatter on that end just like on this end because they're missing pieces okay now this bit here fairly thick so I was thinking maybe something like that a piece there oh that might work on that piece here it's huge this might be the go with that I think We are able to get that whole thing through. There we go. Nice big fat juicy worm bit on the top. So that's probably just going to sit there like that. Doesn't no matter if bits are sticking out, we will deal with them as we go along. So this bit here, just going to put through. Might even stick it through here. There we go. Okay. Get in there. See, I've even I've even put in bits of fabric, but I had so much of these awesome threads that I thought I'm going to put some of these awesome threads. And I think these are fairly small. So how many? One, two, three, four. I might um, it's got a fairly big eye that put that one on there so as you get one end in hopefully the rest will follow up oh, and then is a little bit different to um, this other piece that I've got it's a bit like weaving it's just really cool for something different Now you've probably got enough in your kit to make um, two of these. I quite like this bright piece. I'll put that in there. There we go. Up, down. Sorry if I'm a bit quiet. I got it. That's how it goes sometimes. Okay. There we 
we go. So you definitely have more than enough bits and pieces to your stick, but I quite like it. Now, I've got a bit of this in there. I'm thinking maybe we can somehow do some leaves or something on the tree. Uh, what about this? I might keep that for the top. What else have we got? We've got that, that, that. Then for you guys have got longer pieces. Mine are a little bit shorter. I think I'll use that one. Because like I said, I have three minutes. These are perfect for this top bit. Okay. See if I can get it, find a thicker piece of something for that last bit that I skipped. A different colour. Do we have a need another green or another blue? I think that's a different green. I might go with that or that one. Yeah, it's nice and long. Nice and long. Where's my needle? Some of these um, leftover bits could probably be used for. Um, yeah, for making leaves or having bits and pieces they aren't so how are we all going i can't believe it's um i'm usually pretty up to date with these block of the month but i've just been really busy and i actually don't know if you've noticed that last week i actually missed a Tuesday some some of you may have noticed some of you may not have but I was just so busy and it was a it was a week one of those weeks so okay um, I quite like that I'm going to cut that and have that fat bit in there, but in this greeny colour. Oh. oh. Should I put that on the bottom? I do want to feel like I want to use few bits and pieces. Okay. Now that bit that I left out in the middle there. Oh there's actually two bits. Might be able to do another colour in there too. I hope I'm not too far down. I'm sorry if I am. Have that going down there like that. And I'm sure everyone's is going to be different. Where are we? There we go. It's sticking out there. Um, yeah, I wanted that colour. I quite like that colour. Now. Oh, here we go. I'll have that. That's um, a bit of a weirder and I might try and have this bit. Got a bit of everything in this one. Okay. Oh. <coughs> I might 
pilis. I'm going to keep it small. Bit small. Okay. Yeah, there's a few layers in this. So, um, I know I've got a bigger needle somewhere, but do you think I can find it at this point? No. I'm wondering whether it's going to get lost. And I should put it on the bottom. I think I should. No right or wrong way doing this. It's all good. Cute. Okay. Now there's that long bit sticking out. I actually quite like this colour. So I might make it a little smaller and grab some of that, that colour and make sure that some of these little taily bits are out. There we go. Just fiddle with it. Yeah, and now we've got this big one. Cut it on an angle, maybe. Walls are awesome for this sort of thing. Now. Might come up from there and come on. Oh, I had a bit of difficulty with that one. Okay, go underneath over the top, under underneath. Sharp, there we go. Still seems a little gappy. I might go back. And go over it twice. It's got enough. And then go through and pop. There we go. It's looking pretty ratty and nesty, isn't it? Oh, that's so cute. So we'll grab it and pull it. Pop these little bits over. And now pull these bits back. this out because I was thinking maybe we can use that for something. So, okay. Now this one, I'm just wondering whether we can maybe even decorate that just to add a little bit of texture. That'd be cute. that you see a great deal of it or well, less thinking that on the top but we'll see okay so what you do now that's the top that's bits that's either or find which side you like the best this is the side I intentionally had done first okay now what I'm gonna do is get all these little bits okay get them and cut it in the shape of the way it goes 
so for these bits remember you don't want them and so you have it I'm leaving it a little bit longer because I will probably cut it a little bit more in a minute you can either keep these bits or throw them out I'm gonna throw them out can't keep everything now so what I'm gonna do is Um, I'm gonna get a little bit of seems really weird just a little bit of glue I've got the um, other type of glue so this is just to hold it down where we're gonna sew it and so this is just the ugh, sticky this sort of glue fabric glue is probably better but I just think having that is probably better than having um, um, you know like craft glue because we've got to sew through it so the little arm is up that's okay that's going to go over the top so we'll just push that out of the way for now and we get this I might push it down and out. Okay. Now, this the reason why I got this because that's the same similar color to the actual bit of lace. So what I'm going to do is I start with from here, and then I'm going to go into I've got a knob on the bottom, and we're going to be just stitching down and grabbing every which way so okay put that down oh, I can't believe that this can't undo Grabbing that bit, holding that down. For now, I'm just going to stitch around the outside. Hold that down, like all on the outside in the edges, and then I'm going to go back through like what you've seen here. I've actually gone through on um, in a brownie color, like similar color to what the actual things are, and done a. Um, What's that? A couching stitch to hold it down even more. But for now, I'm just going to grab some bits and pieces. Hold that down. Hang in there. Go through. And we're just grabbing it in bits for now, pretty much anywhere. And because it's the same colour as the, the thread, you really can't see it at this point. So, okay. So, actually, I was thinking. Maybe once I get to this point, I ought to leave that up there and come back. We probably want to stitch that down first, hey? So I might hold this down. And stitch that. Okay, so I've got this brownie, brownie colour for that. See? This is why I do it first. So I make the mistakes, but you don't have to. That's my saying anyway. And I'm sticking to it. Okay. Still not in here. There we go. So 
so I'll just come out underneath here. Thought I'd better do this because this bit is going to be tucked underneath and so we're just going to do a slip stitch there you can scrub in a little bit I'm just doing it to hold it down because these bits you probably won't even see them underneath it because the um you don't need a great deal of stitching because of heat and bond and it holds everything down which is great yep okay let me see once I've stitched this should over near the breast part I'm gonna have a check of the time to see whether we do a part two which I will um, with you guys later okay yeah so we just stitched it down I need to do the breast part a different color so I might tie that off and continue on with this guy I probably need to go underneath there but Slip that underneath, it should be okay. Okay, now we'll have a look. 32 minutes. Well, there you go. So this is what we've done. Hold that down. And so you come back. I'm just holding it down with this. And then you, you actually, I'll quickly show you what I want to do with this. I'm going to go hold that down underneath here. And we are going to come back over there just to hold it down a bit and hold it down as much as you want or as little as you want to. About three stitches there. That bit holds that down. And we go over the bulky bits. So that's what you can do over the top going over a whole lot and because it's in the same color as the um the nest background see how much better that looks like it gives it just still got that texture but it holds it down um, so you have to hold that down Yep. And then when you get down to the other end, do the same. So that hold the big well, this is a fairly big bulky piece of wall though. So there you go. That's cool. That's what we're working with. There you go. Okay, guys. Well, I will catch you in the next video. Once you've stitched all that red in, then you go to the iron. That's already ironed down. So remember, you've got to do the just that little bottom pit piece that I just stitched there first. Then we can always go back and do that. And you can either put that in there, or I was thinking maybe doing some little bullion bullion knots. Might even do a little worm crawling along here. So. Okay, well, I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.